Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski, and thank you so much for stopping by the channel. So in my last video, I taught you guys how to use LumaFusion, a really great video editing app for your iPad or iPhone. We did a lot. I taught you how to edit out things that you didn't want, add transitions, tweak your audio, use LUTs, add titles, upload it to YouTube, how to make your own custom thumbnails. So we did a lot in that particular video. I wanted to touch on how to use LUTs a little more in depth because I did get a couple of different questions about that. So I thought, you know, let's get it, get into it in a little more of a granular level. But before I do that, I just want to say, you know, on my channel, I want to make tutorials and videos the way I wish I could have watched videos when I was figuring all of this different stuff out, like these particular tutorials. I really appreciated people that had the overhead camera. This way it was easy to follow along and see what they were doing and see where their hand was moving to next because a lot of times people just hit the screen record and you're just watching the screen and it's like you're playing whack-a-mole with your eye. You're like, you're trying to see where it's gonna pop up next and what's going on. It's so much easier <laughs> with that overhead That's camera. Video. I am going to show you guys how to download LUTs from your email, how to get them into LumaFusion, how to do some color corrections, some color grading, or adding LUTs to your images, whatever it is that you wanna to do to tweak your coloring. But before we get into that, I just wanna say that if you're new to using video, here's a really great tip for you try to use the flattest profile that you have in your camera. So I'm a Canon shooter. The flattest profile that's in my camera is called neutral. And you can go into neutral and actually tweak the settings of neutral to make it even more flat. You can dial down your saturation, you can dial down your sharpness, you can also add different profiles into your camera, which I've done. I shoot in a profile called CineStyle, which I download. I think I paid like $14 for CineStyle and it was well worth it. So whenever you can, shoot in the flattest, flattest profile that you have. So this I knew way. that I'd be making this video, so I wanted to purchase a YouTube Creator's LUT package. This way I could show you guys how to retrieve it from your email and get it into LumaFusion. So I purchased Lizzie Pierce's LUT package. Unfortunately, I didn't get to it right away, so just be mindful, if you purchase someone's LUTs, download them right away because those links expire in 24 hours and now you're caught in the circle that I'm caught in. I have to get them refreshed and it's going to take a while. So in order to be able to pull this video off, I downloaded someone else's LUT package. I purchased the Potato Jets LUT package and I'm super excited because I really do like the way that his images look. So let's jump into it. All right, so let's go ahead and download his LUT package. And this is my email, and they send it directly to your email. So you just hit on the link, and that will open it. Okay, it says open in phone drive. We're gonna go to more. And then there, there's the LumaFusion app. We just wanna put it directly into LumaFusion. So we just hit LumaFusion and see if they're there. Let's just start a brand new project. So we go to the plus sign and we'll just call this one PJ for Potato Jet. And we'll go to 24 frames per second and there we've got a new project started. So let's take some images from the iCloud Drive. Let me take this one of my friend and I canoeing, drop that down into the timeline, and I'll just go ahead and mute whatever we're saying because I can't guarantee the conversation is rated G, so I'm just going to completely mute it. We want to really work on the color grading anyway. The audio to this is very irrelevant. Okay, so let's go ahead and double click on this clip right here to bring us over to the settings window. So before I get into that, let me say that the very first step in working with the colors of your particular video is you want to color correct. So there's a difference between color correcting and color grading. So color correcting is when you're going to manipulate 
uh, your video, either adjusting the highlights or the shadows to make that image more aesthetically pleasing. You would want to get that just so. Then once you get that done, then you would go ahead and begin your color grading. You can either add a LUT or add a preset to your image or manipulate the individual colors in this particular app. So let me say that if you're a professional videographer and it's your job to have the colors exactly so, then you'd want a different program than LumaFusion. You would probably want one of the Adobe programs to work with. This way you have color wheels and vector scopes and it's very granular of how you can control your image. But if you're a small YouTuber like me, or you're just making very casual videos, LumaFusion is more than powerful to get your image the way that you need it to be. Let me go ahead and dive in and do a little basic color correction in this particular video image. So as I said before, this is my friend and I kayaking. So what I'd wanna do is just fix the shadows and the highlights in this image. Then we can begin adding our either LUT or tweaking the colors ourselves. So the way that we'd want to do that, now when you open the settings window into this particular clip, this is going to be the parameters of your original clip. So first let's go ahead and click that. See all these are values for this particular video clip. So we can go ahead and adjust the brightness if we wanted to, the contrast, the saturation, the vibrance, and of course we have all of the colors here that we, we can go ahead and dial in to get this to where we'd want it to be before we go ahead and drop a LUT onto our image. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I want to darken the shadows a little bit and work with the highlights. So how we're actually going to do that, you see this bar up here that says levels? This is what we need to move to be able to do that. So by dragging this to the left, you're going to sharpen the shadows. And over here, now you're going to be working with your highlights. So I think that, lo that looks better. And this, of course, is going to tweak your midtones. Okay, so that looks good. So now let's go over to the LUTs section. And the LUTs are going to be stored right there. And these are all the different LUTs that I now have inside of LumaFusion that I put in there myself. And LumaFusion, of course, does come with their own set of LUTs too. So let's say you just went ahead and downloaded LumaFusion for yourself, you don't have any LUT packages to work with, you're going to be fine because they have a lot for you to choose from to begin to fix your video. But before we do that, let me say if you've created your own LUT in Affinity Photo or another app, which is absolutely possible, you would be able to bring that LUT in yourself by hitting this and that is going to bring up all of these options of where you could pull that LUT from. So let's say if you did make something in Affinity Photo, you could store it on your iCloud Drive and you would hit iCloud Drive and that would bring up your iCloud Drive window where you have that particular LUT stored. You could hit it and it would input it into your LUT window. So we'll just click out of that. Or you can go ahead and design your own LUTs right here inside of LumaFusion. You could tweak a few things. Let's say if I wanted to brighten it up. Or let me just go ahead and just do any crazy thing. Just pull it that. Let's make it a black and white sort of image. And let's say I wanted to store that as a LUT. I would hit this star over here. And this is going to let me name that particular effect. And I'll just mark it sample, done, and hit save effect. And that is going to, that should work, I hope. And that's going to save that effect in this, see how I just hit the star and now that came up as an effect. So if you wanted to do any sort of effects yourself or color grade and have it set as a preset, you can save that by utilizing that star option and it will be saved as a preset. So let me just go ahead and fix that image back to where it was. 
because I just was using that as a sample. That looks hideous. I would never use that. Let's go ahead and check out the different LUTs now that we have. So I have a lot of Peter McKinnon LUTs. I have Nick Fort LUTs. And of course, I have Potato Jet LUTs, which you just saw me download. And I think this is one of Potato Jet's Palm Springs. So of course, here we can dial in the intensity. So if I wanted to reduce it, I could, there's the original clip and dialing in the intensity of that particular LUT. See the difference that it makes? But these are all the different options that we have to choose from. So let's, that one's Kodak Killer by Peter McKinnon. Um, Contrast Clean, I think that's by Nick Fort. Skyscraper, that's another one by Potato Jet. Teal and Orange by Peter McKinnon. And wow, that looks awesome, right? That really, really, really made that pop. So let's check that out. That looks good and interesting, but the problem is uh, the water is not exactly green in New Jersey. It's more of a, a bluish hue. So that is funky looking. It would make for a good photograph, but as far as color grading a video clip, that really would not work for me. And this is Gold Rush. This is another Potato Jet one. That looks pretty bright. Let's check that out. It's not exactly right though because her kayak is orange. So I would think for this one I would just use I think that is going to look probably the best. Now let me go ahead and change some of the aspects of the coloring here and I do want to dial in the contrast a little bit. I want to sharpen up the contrast. Maybe pull down the highlights a little bit. Add a little bit of green to that. Okay, I think that looks good. So let's go ahead and peek at it through the preview window. You know what guys, I think this came out really good. So considering the fact that the day that I filmed this, it was a very overcast day, I was really able to clean up this image to really sharpen the shadows and make the colors look very vivid. And that was of course due to the little bit of color correcting I had done in the beginning and then I added the LUT actually tweak that a little bit. So by doing all that, I was able to create a beautiful image. And don't forget, I filmed it on a very flat CineStyle profile. So that's what allowed me to change it and manipulate it to get it into this particular image. So if you're a small YouTube creator or you're just making videos for your company or you're just anything other than a professional videographer who has to have everything completely right and on point, you can see how powerful Luma Fusion is and that's why I always recommend it to anyone that's beginning in their YouTube journey. You know, start with LumaFusion. You can always grow from there, absolutely. It's a small investment of 20 bucks. You can't go wrong. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe and the like button if you found any of this helpful. And until next time, wear your sunblock.